to this videos? If we make 5000 likes to this video, we will implode more patriotic news. Thank you. Democrats hit with huge arrest. President Donald Trump has spent months claiming that Democrats committed voter fraud in last year's presidential election, and the mainstream media has tried to make him look crazy for alleging this. However, the president was just proven right about this liberal voter fraud in a huge way. The Washington Free Beacon reported that six people have been arrested in Boston, Massachusetts for the buying and selling of false identification documents which were then used to allow for fraudulent voter registration. The Department of Justice found that four state workers at the Massachusetts Registry of Motor Vehicles teamed up with two other individuals to sell these documents to illegal aliens so that they could vote. The scheme involved stolen Puerto Rican social security cards and birth certificates that aliens could then take to the now-charged RMV clerks in order to obtain driver's licenses and ID cards that would allow them to vote. The scheme involved several steps, the Dodge stated. First. It is alleged that Flacco, the document dealer, sold a Puerto Rican birth certificate and U.S. Social Security card to Brie, the document vendor, for approximately $900. Brie, in turn, sold the stolen identities for over $2,000 to clients seeking legitimate identities in Massachusetts. These clients included illegal aliens, individuals who were previously deported, and an individual who admitted to previously facing drug charges. After Flacco sold Brie the false identification papers, Brie typically used the counterfeit documents and false identities and addresses to fraudulently register the clients to vote in the city of Boston, the Dodge continued. Then, Brie and the client brought the stolen identities to the Haymarket RMV, where Medina, Gracha, Jordan, and Obramage would accept cash to illegally issue authentic RMV documents, including Massachusetts licenses and ID cards. The clerks also accepted cash to use the RMV's system to run queries, including social security number audits, to confirm that the identities the clients were stealing actually belonged to verifiable individuals. Each of the defendants are facing a charge of aggravated identity theft, and more people could end up being arrested as well. The investigation into the corruption and identity theft scheme is ongoing, the statement read. Share this story so we can expose this Democrat voter fraud. Breaking Hillary Clinton investigation reopened, plea deal offered. Hillary Clinton thought she was finally out of the woods when it came to the investigation into her personal email server. Unfortunately for her, however, she just learned that she was dead wrong. Newsmax reported that a Clinton attorney has confirmed that the Department of Justice's investigation into Clinton's mishandling of classified material on her private email system while she was Secretary of State has been reopened. The attorney added that the Dodge is considering offering Clinton a plea bargain if she agrees to plead guilty and admit that she broke the law. A high-ranking Justice Department official reportedly offered the plea bargain to Clinton's lawyer last month. The Dodge prosecutor reportedly told Clinton's lawyer that despite the fact that former FBI Director James Comey decided not to charge her last July, the Dodge has since re-examined the case and found ample evidence that would result in Clinton being prosecuted on numerous counts. The plea deal that has been offered will require Clinton to sign a document admitting that she committed a prosecutable crime, and in return, the Dodge will not file charges against her. If she signs the papers. The Dodge will also agree to not proceed with an investigation of her pay-to-play deals with foreign governments and businessmen who contributed to the Clinton Foundation or who paid Bill Clinton exorbitant speaking fees. Clinton's attorney added that it's highly unusual for a prosecutor to offer a plea deal before an arraignment and that Clinton has not yet been charged with any crime. This comes after President Donald Trump slammed Attorney General Jeff Sessions for not doing more to investigate Clinton. Attorney General Jeff Sessions has taken a very weak position on Hillary Clinton crimes, where emails and DNC server, and intel leakers. Trump wrote on Twitter on July 25. Share this story if you think Hillary Clinton should be locked. Republicans send letter to Jeff Sessions demanding he do this. 
the Republicans on the House Judiciary Committee sent a letter to Attorney General Jeff Sessions and Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein last Thursday asking him to appoint a special counsel to investigate the 2016 presidential election. Fox News reported that Republicans, who were led by House Judiciary Committee Chairman Bob Goodlett, RVA, warned that there are still many questions lingering from last year's election that can't be allowed to die on the vine amid the Russia probe firestorm. The American public has a right to know the facts, all of them, surrounding the election and its aftermath, the Republican lawmakers wrote. We urge you to appoint a second special counsel to ensure these troubling, unanswered questions are not relegated to the dustbin of history. The congressman would like an entirely separate special counsel probe from the one Robert Mueller is currently leading into possible Trump-Russia collusion. Republicans argue that questions about Hillary Clinton's conduct during the election with the Obama administration have been pushed back as everyone has simply focused on the alleged Russia collusion. Our call for a special counsel is not made lightly, the lawmakers wrote. We have no interest in engendering more bad feelings and less confidence in the process or governmental institutions by the American people. Rather, our call is made on their behalf. It is meant to determine whether the criminal prosecution of any individual is warranted based on the solemn obligation to follow the facts wherever they lead and applying the law to those facts. We're glad to see that Republicans aren't ready to let Clinton off the hook for the corrupt things she did during the 2016 election. The mainstream media may refuse to report anything negative about Clinton, but Republican lawmakers are still on a mission to make sure she'll have to answer for what she did. Share this story if you think this investigation is a great idea. Breaking Trump Makes Major North Korea Announcement Tensions between the U.S. and North Korea have been rising dramatically for months. Now, they appear to be boiling over. On Tuesday, North Korea said that it is carefully examining a plan to strike the U.S. Pacific territory of Guam with nuclear missiles. Daily Mail reported that President Donald Trump fired back on his Twitter page on Wednesday morning to let them know that attacking Guam would be a very bad idea. My first order as president was to renovate and modernize our nuclear arsenal. It is now far stronger and more powerful than ever before, Trump said. Hopefully we will never have to use this power, but there will never be a time that we are not the most powerful nation in the world. Trump appears to have angered Kim Jong-un on Tuesday when he said that any attack on the U.S. would be met with fire and fury. He has been very threatening beyond a normal state and as I said they will be met with the fire and fury and frankly power, the likes of which this world has never seen before, Trump said yesterday of Kim Jong-un. North Korea best not make any more threats to the United States, Trump warned after a reporter asked him about a nuclear standoff. The state-run KCNA news agency quickly released a statement saying that North Korea is carefully examining the operational plan for making an enveloping fire at the areas around Guam using its domestically made medium-to-long-range Hwasong-12 missiles. What do you think about the situation with North Korea? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Sasha Obama caught making out with stranger at drug-fueled party Sasha Obama caught making out with stranger at drug-fueled party, watch written by David Miller, seven hours ago various videos have surfaced this week of a clearly intoxicated Malia Obama wildly partying at Lollapalooza over the weekend. Now, some shocking images have surfaced of her 16-year-old sister Sasha at the drug-fueled rager as well. Radar Online reported that photos have leaked of Sasha making out with a stranger, who sources say is named Matt. Sources also say that Sasha and Matt met only moments before they started kissing. Although Malia is at the adult age to attend Lollapalooza, it is discouraging to see Sasha, an underage teen unsupervised at a music festival notorious for rampant drug use. Barack and Michelle Obama used Sasha as an excuse to stay in Washington, D.C. after leaving the White House, claiming that as parents they wanted to allow her to finish high school there. However, since moving just two miles from the White House, Barack has been busy running an anti-Trump war room and Michelle has been off traveling the world on more vacations. 
Malia's weekend at Lollapalooza appears to have been downright debaucherous. The first video that leaked of her showed Malia dancing so violently and uncontrollably at a concert for the killers that many were certain she was either drunk or on some kind of drug. Things got even worse when a video from later in that night surfaced of a passed out Malia being escorted from the venue in a golf cart. Things had gotten so crazy that night that Malia ended up losing her iPhone. Clearly, the Obama girls are in need of some serious parental guidance. Their parents are so desperate to destroy Trump and at the same time put more money in their own pockets that they seem to have lost all motivation to properly raise their own daughter.